Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, I was dying to do another video because just as I was thinking of shutting it down, I realized that I have some pretty sick battles going on, so I'll, I'll give a little bit of a record of some of the fighting I'm doing. Now what happened was, as I was playing the expedition, and it turns out that the last few matches have been pretty epic battles. I have a feeling this last one has potential to go maybe over 10 or 20 rounds. And I'm not really sure who to bring. I think last battle I was really close to just cancelling each other out, so I don't really want to change too much. I think the only person who's going to die is probably Boudicai. I don't think I have anyone stronger I can swap her out with. Let me check. No, she's way stronger than Way stronger. It's like, what do I do? Swap out Boudicai? I think she'll... If I swap her out, I'll have a chance. Because her attack keeps missing too much. Well, what is her aim? Sucks. I gotta boost that skill or something. Right, I think that's one plan I can make that'll get me over the hump to win this battle. Oh yeah, his health is substantially stronger than hers right now. He is a defensive player, so... Alright, let's give this a shot. It'd be weird if Boudicca was the one that was bringing me down. I always thought she was one of my best heroes. It is pretty reliant on her being able to successfully hit Oh yeah, push the power level up to 1.5. <sighs> Alright, I do believe we should, should give this a try. I figure I'll equip our items just for now. I don't want to leave them unequipped. <laughs> Alright, wish me luck, guys. Place your bets. Do you think I could win this one? My power is higher than their power now. Before I made that change, it wasn't. That There's six heroes. All that fucking gold. And they have three of them that are five stars. Two of my team is purples. Oh yeah, thanks to my viewer. I thought he was joking and making fun of me that, what was he saying, that blue in the, what is it that thing called? That other mode? Uh, the tavern task, that's it. He was like, blue doesn't mean that uh, class blue and then I realized I was like what the hell do you mean it doesn't mean blue and then I started thinking I'm like when it asks for purple it doesn't mean a purple hero it means the type of class like how how high the hero has gone up is it gold yet is it purple still and blue is a level below purple 
So I didn't even realize that's what they meant by blue. <laughs> Not that it had to be a blue element. Yeah, so big thanks to my viewer who pointed that out. <laughs> I'm a little slow. <laughs> I really appreciate your guys' help. I don't know where I'd be without you. Seriously. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe we'll, we'll go places together. <laughs> A little scared where those places are, but... <laughs> Man, my team's taking a severe beating right now. Hoping we can kill someone. If we can kill someone, then I'll start going in my favor. There, yeah! Someone dead. So I like to see death. <laughs> no, <I'm> just <laughs> I think what it is, Samson gives me a little bit more punch. It's like, sure, Budokai can hit a lot of people, but she also can miss a lot of people. <laughs> it's like Samson, when he hits you, it's like he has a better chance. And I'm surprised he's stronger. I guess Budokai must be really weak. I always thought Samson was one of my weakest. So I don't know, a lot of people are happy to see Samson go to my team. <laughs> They're probably not going to be happy to see him back, especially replacing Budokai. But who else could I? It's like I need Uncle Joe's freezing. I need Assassin's healing. I need Crime Fighter. I guess Trump is really the only debatable one for swapping out. Or maybe swapping out Symphony. Would you guys keep Symphony or Budokai if you had to choose between those two? See what I mean that these battles were going on for a long time? <laughs> it's like we can barely hit each other. Yeah, even Samson, he's having a hard time landing any attacks. I like his extra healing. Like before, sometimes we get a little weak. Now with Samson around, I'm like, okay, we got a little bit more healing. See, Budokai never heals anyone. So what do you guys think? Anyone changing their bets at this point? Am I going to win or lose this battle? This is pretty intense. Level 18, or round 18 already. I maybe will make the title of this video my longest battle ever. <laughs> I never realized that Clone Evolution had this potential. Like sometimes the matches, they fucking go like crazy. Crazy matches. Look at that, everyone's frozen. I still can't hit him. <laughs> Now I was thinking really who I need to freeze to do some damage is both healers. If I can freeze both of them, or even stun and freeze, whatever combination fucks them up. I don't know how I'm going to get the message in from my sponsor. <laughs> It's like I'll have to do a break while the match is going and come back, the match will still be going. <laughs> Uh, I can't really recall any match that's been more intense than this for me. Pretty sure I had a couple matches where I was playing against uh, one of those bosses. But after it made it to a certain amount, like I think it was 18 rounds or something, it just reset. Said the boss won. It ended the match. I'm pretty f sure if I hit the skip button here, it would just automatically kill me. So that's why I'm letting it play out. Who knows, I might not actually be able to play this out if it goes for more than an hour. <laughs> I don't know how much the cap is. If there's oh, both healers are frozen. This could be my chance. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> so 
So I gotta freeze both healers twice, I guess. <laughs> Isn't it funny how their team was so good that even losing a player, I still can't kill them. <laughs> All because they're so good at healing. It's that kid with the keyboard, eh? I've only gotten him once as an ingredient. I haven't souped him up. Fuck, it's tempting instead of using him as an ingredient to keep him. Yeah, the only way I can win this match is if I get lucky with the stuns and freezing. Glad I made some changes to my lineup though, because I'm pretty sure someone would have been dead already if I didn't put Samson in there. Today it's still the same weed on the menu because it's still the same day. To be honest, after I ended the last episode, I was just like, holy fuck man, I'm dying to play the game. So I played it a little bit more, and then I started to make such good progress, I'm like, these battles are fucking epic. I gotta record them. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty long battle. We're going to 40 rounds now. <laughs> Hopefully it's not just gonna end soon. I was thinking, man, if they end the battle just randomly, it should really give me the win. Because I have more players that are alive than they do. <gasps> oh, did another player die on their team? One, two, three, four, yeah! <laughs> it's like I was so in disbelief I had to count it out. <laughs> Who died? Let's see. I think it was... Fuck. I can't remember. I'll have to go into the video or a replay. <gasps> yeah! Another one died. Alright, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna win this battle now. Unless the timer runs out and I jinxed it. <laughs> How is that for an epic fight? <laughs> It's not like this battle is for nothing. This is for that fucking orange chest. So whoever wins this battle, I can get the purple fucking frags or not. Word, yo. <laughs> Back in my day, <laughs> we used to buy drugs from gangs. It's like, I really hope my neighbor's kids aren't awake to hear that. <laughs> oh, it said I'm a loser? You gotta be shitting me. Fuck! Son of a fuck whore. How am I a loser? That doesn't make any sense. Oh good, I was gonna say, whew, <laughs> I was worried, I'm like, would they just kill everyone on my team because the match ended? No, match continues where it left off, we just can't go to more than 50 rounds. Well, that's good news. I was worried that the match was meant that I was actually dying losing. Whew. <laughs> Alright, is there anything else I can work on in the meantime? That tempts me. Maybe I should change this approach with the dungeon. Now I have it less weak links. Surprised someone didn't recommend that. They're like, hey, Budokai is good, but Samson's still a little better. <laughs> I think what makes it for Samson, A is healing, B he's quite a bit stronger than Budokai. 
Like his hit points is what? Was it 20, 30% more? <laughs> so really the hits that Boudicca is dying in one, he should be able to withstand one. Yeah, see he withstood one. If that was Boudicca, she'd be dead already. Fuck. Now I definitely needed more stun luck there. A few more stuns, I would have did it. Alright, let's finish her off. Let's hope that goes better than usual for me. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Dead Trump. <laughs> Better not say that too many times on YouTube. <laughs> Watch just killing this kid. It's going to take like fucking 10 rounds. It's like, man, he's so good at healing, he could be the tank just on his own, right? No one could kill him. <laughs> he's like, what? You thought you were killing me? <laughs> uh, really, the way we're going to have to do this is stun him twice in succession. Hopefully we can do it in 50 turns. <laughs> there we go, frozen. <laughs> Then I have to stun him. <laughs> this is ridiculous. My whole team just versus this kid. We can't kill him. <laughs> this is starting to make me second guess whether I should use him as an ingredient. He's like, are you sure you want to use me as an ingredient? It's like the person I'm going to use, are they really going to be better than him? I know what it is, it's because he's in gold. I don't even have him on my team in fucking purple, for God's sakes. Well, I do. I just haven't spawned him up. I just unlocked him. I'm sure the regular viewers saw me unlock him in that casino event. Oh, there we go. Bunch of freezes and stuns. That's what we needed. Yeah, so no wonders it was so hard to win that match. Couldn't even beat that one guy. <laughs> Alright, victory. Now that was five purple frags earned. Five? Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, that was a pretty exciting match, you guys. I hope you liked that one. Hey, I'm starting to get close to another purple soon. If I can keep racking in those five ones. Pretty sure I can find a way or two to squeeze in a few more battles. Oh yeah, I was going to give you an update too. While you guys were gone, I clicked on the guild. and It gave me a whole bunch of extra guild points. Cashed them in. Did some more leveling up. And... Ta -da. I got Son of a Black Hole up to 96. 
And how about this for quick response from viewers? I think there was a viewer who watched my video already in Facebook, just with the, within the few hours that I had commented, asking whether or not I should use Samson or keep them and save them as ingredients. And he responded with a screenshot showing the, the tree of uh, different characters that you need to build the Samson or this really good character that's like red. I have no idea who this red character is, but I'm assuming they're very good. <laughs> because there was this tree going up and uh, what was it? Samson was one of the main heroes required. So he was saying like, man, if you use them right now just for those levels, you're going to be cursing it later. Because you'll be needing him for that red guy. So I'll take the, the viewer's advice. I'm pretty sure if you watched the video in completion that fast and already had an opinion, he's pretty much an expert at this. Yeah. Dear God. Alright, so yeah. I'm getting tempted to should give him some items. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be funny once I have him done. I can't speed level up either of these two. But I'll just take my time. What I could do is maybe give him, but he's so weak, it's not really worth it. Now, to be honest, I was cursing that I made two Jane Austens level 100, but there was a few times where I actually beat levels by using two of them. It's pretty effective having two of them in your team. You heal really fast. <laughs> And I'll, I'll do some updates on the limited event. I did some more spins on the casino while you guys were gone. I made it up to 121. But I don't think I'm going to have enough to reach that. Let's see. I've got 25 left. So that's what, 3 spins or so? So 30 points plus 7, so 37 points. What would that give? 37 and 21 is 158. So, still falling short of the 200. So, it's kind of dumb to keep spinning at this point. Let's see. 92 hours left to go. Yeah, so it's the one question I was thinking of asking the viewers too, since I got a quick such a quick response. Should I spend these limited event or Vibram stores by this guy? <laughs> no, I don't think I should, right? I was think tempted, the only reason I was tempted to do it is I have enough. I could buy him. And then once I bought him in the Darwin lab. throw him in so then I buy him win him on the casino wheel because I actually have him as a, a piece right now then I have this guy then I have this guy and I have two extra lightnings or they're easy to make so that would be this guy upgraded to gold and you say oh that doesn't really matter so why would you still do it getting him to gold doesn't really matter but I'll show you look who it or yeah look who it is no oh there it is yeah so Trump needs him to turn red and then I was thinking too like look at this guy and Look how many frags I have. I have not only enough to create one of him, but I'm getting close to two of him. So once I have two of him, I gotta find out what other heroes I need. But man, I'm close to my first red hero. So that's why I was a little bit tempted. Hey, maybe I should go with uh, buying him from the Vibram store. But it's probably not a good idea. I'll just wait and get him on the wheel again. And it's probably a good idea to wait anyways, because I'll show you. 
if you go into campaign mode and go to elite or general and you see the place where I unlock them you get these puzzle fragments so slow it's like one or two a day at most so it's going to take a long time for these to actually build up for enough to unlock this guy so that's what I was thinking there it doesn't really make sense might as well save my points not spend them at the store yet still an hour 30 to go fuck or not spend them at the store don't spend them at the limited event <laughs> oh yeah it is the Vibram story I was like why am I calling it the store <laughs> Now some other heroes I'm tempted to buy would be this one, but I don't have enough. I'm surprised this pumpkin dude is 30 and I already have him and I almost have enough to clone up another one. So maybe I'll have a gold pumpkin soon. Yeah, her? I don't know. I got really lucky and I got three harsh assassins like right away, back to back. But, after I upgraded her to gold, I realized that I needed more of her. So I was kind of wishing that I didn't upgrade her to gold. But I think it was worth it, because she heals really good. She's very durable. I was thinking, God, Symphony would be a waste. Because you can just buy them from the regular store for way cheaper. <laughs> it's like, maybe the game designer should fix this one. <laughs> it's not a real practical reward. Imagine someone actually bought it at it, and then they went to the regular store and they're like, oh fuck, I could just bought it at the regular store. <laughs> yeah, same with Hitler, isn't he at the regular store? Or no, he was special. He's special. <laughs> and I was looking too, like, look at this guy. He's 28 pieces, and I already unlocked him once, just from a random purple draw. Oh yeah, and this guy too, 36, I already unlocked him from a random purple draw. I was thinking all the good heroes, I missed, but all the not so good ones, I unlocked. Yeah, because look, I got this one, this one, this one this one <laughs> this one this one and this one and this one yeah. the ones I need are that one that one that one I want to get this guy even though I don't think I need him for anything <laughs> now, let's do a message from the sponsor and then we'll get some more battling I'll spend some jewels. We'll do some guild shit. Today's show was brought to you by Crack. Crack. It'll fuck you up. Oh. Jeez. Will I ever get the hang of that menu? <laughs> Now let's give it one more stab at the dungeon. Maybe the two blue guys like to stick together. Oh yeah. Just preparing another bowl. Holy shit. This 
this bowl is looking sick. I wish you guys could see it. Ah, oh, fuck. Just spilled some of it on the table. I'm glad you can't see it. <laughs> now, I think if I get lucky, freeze a bunch of people right to start. Then we'll start doing some damage. Uh, usually when my coffee grinder grinds up weed for a couple ounces or so, all the best crystal will collect underneath the blade, start to like stick to the bottom. So once I don't have enough to fill the bowl, I'll scrape a bit of the, the grinder and then use it for it. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> it's almost like keef in a way, but a very high concentrated keef. Like even more crystal than normal. <laughs> Alright, there was enough tries at that one. Let's do some guild. Whew. I was having some luck occasionally beating the green one, so maybe now that I made these changes, it'll be more consistent win. Excuse me. Man, just not having luck killing these dogs anymore. I don't know how I pulled it off the one time. I think what it was is I started off the match and froze a few of them. And just that one round of freezing to begin with was enough to lay a good beating to them. God. Yeah, like I really needed to stun some of them. Like, any stunning would have been enough for me to do some damage there. It wasn't too bad. Somewhat disappointing. Fuck! <laughs> now what it was is I used to do drama school in high school. Or not drama school, drama class. <laughs> now, I hated it at first, but my teacher recommended it because I was too shy. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, I'll try it for one semester. I actually skipped like half the semester because I hated the class so much. And there's a whole bunch of hot chicks in the class and they kept bugging me to go in it. And I'm like, all right, if hot chicks are bugging me to show up for class, I guess I should. Yeah, and then I was shy at first, but I eventually got over it. Now, in that drama class skill, sort of allows you to do really embarrassing stuff without having to worry about it as much. Oh yeah, that was the other thing too. The one class of drama, the, the girls were bugging me. They're like, come on, you're not pretending to be angry. We want you to pretend to be angry even more. 
And I'm like, are you sure? It's like, this is just a rehearsal. It's like, I should just pretend to be like half angry. You don't want me to get really angry just in rehearsal. They're like, no, do it. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> they never asked me to be fully angry again in rehearsal. <laughs> I think what it is, is when I'm venting steam, it's very convincing that I'm going to lose control. <laughs> and it has been tempting. Sometimes I punch the couch pretty good. And I realize punching the couch is good, because then I usually don't break anything. Break my hand or furniture. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good workout, too. Should try it sometime. If you ever get really mad, try the hammer fist technique and just. <laughs> you just gotta be careful you don't hit the wood parts of the couch. Because <laughs> they're just like, ah! Oh. <laughs> Damn furniture! <laughs> Are you out to get me? I was just thinking, I got some pretty cool leather pillows, and I was like, man, those would make really good punching bags. Although I better not, because it might rip the leather. And I'd be really mad. <laughs> I'd deplete the whole purpose. I was gonna say, if like I got a good stun there, I might have been able to win this match. Fuck! Man, that was close. Man, that was close. Well, let's try that again. I keep getting so close to winning and thinking, man, just one or two good stuns away. Yeah, that was a pretty good stun. Oh, fuck, still died. And I was just thinking that, like, with all those characters stunned, you think I could survive a round or two without any casualties? It's like fucking one guy was able to attack and I still died. Fuck. Oh. That was a bit of a piss off. Not near as close as the last round. Which is weird, because I thought the stunning was going better. Try switching that around. I don't think it'll make much difference, but it's worth a try trying something. Fuck. Yeah, see, that's what I need to do. I'll start the round with full ice, everyone frozen. <laughs> that's all I need. <laughs> oh. Yeah, when Symphony went there and didn't stun anyone, that was pretty much the end of this battle.
But yeah, guys, I was thinking too. I used to do the convention scene for quite a few years. Started off just as a fan. Eventually started running booths. Ran booths actually for quite a few years. But I got out of it just before the whole situation in the world. Because I had a bad concussion. And the last convention didn't go well. Where I lost a whole ton of money. <laughs> so, I was thinking... Now that I'm getting back into doing video game stuff, maybe I'll get a booth at the convention again. So if anyone wants to meet me at Fan Expo, give or take how long it takes for the world events to clear up. Like if the whole situation's still going, I probably definitely won't attend it then, even if they do open it, but you never know. Hopefully in our lifetimes, the world situation will be back to normal. And then we'll have Fan Expo in Toronto and you guys can meet me there if you want. Maybe we can do some hardcore partying too. Do a clone evolution blast in downtown Toronto. <laughs> yeah, and who knows, maybe if there's no convention we can just still do it in Toronto if anyone's there. <coughs> <laughs> nah, they got some really good weed spots in Toronto. I've been to Tokyo Smoke a few times. That's where I first got Atlantis. That's where I found Atlantis. It was at the old HMV store in Toronto. <laughs> Who would have thought it was there? <laughs> now I did a whole vlog or vlog about going to Tokyo Smoke in Toronto. I never finished it. Like I filmed it and the footage didn't turn out the greatest and I chickened out at the end. And I missed a few scenes that I wanted to get. But I'm thinking maybe I'll just publish it because it's a Maybe I'll save it to the best of, or not the best of, the outtakes. <laughs> it's like, you know my worst footage? That's a going in the best of. <laughs> now I was trying to show in the vlog that you could just walk right from the bus station at the Greyhound Terminal in Toronto, like across the street when you're waiting for your bus and they have the the old HMV store has been converted into Tokyo Smoke. So you can buy really good weed there while you wait for your bus. It's like a man, if I did a vlog about that, people would probably be keen on seeing that. Because I was always wondering, like, when I'm waiting for my bus, like, what is there I can do? Yeah, it kind of pisses me off with the whole virus situation with public transit in the future. I was already not a fan of it, worried about catching different things, even before this all happened. <laughs> so I was like, God, it's not going to make it any easier to use it. <laughs> yeah, this was some pretty good stuns. Fuck! <laughs> you know what it's going to take? Maybe it'll take my dodge team. I'll bring my dodge team to fight them, I'll be like, just try and hit me. <laughs> Everyone will cast their dodge shit and it'll be just miss, 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 miss. <laughs> the only thing about my dodge team I don't like is leaving Crime Fighter out. Because in order to make the dodge team really work, I should have Crime Fighter in there to poison everyone. So that way they can keep hitting him, but he'll be poisoning them, and everyone else will dodge and heal him. Yeah, so that's maybe what my dodge team will be. And I'll, I'll manage to fit Crime Fighter in. Now let's try moving him back. Yeah, I think he did better in that situation. Ooh, there is some good stun. Oh yeah. Only one guy can hit me now. Come on, heal. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck. What the hell's going on? 
Man, you think my team would have been able to do some damage this round? I fucking had them all stunned except for one guy. And it still just got slaughtered. It's almost like they're a million power level or more. Over me. <laughs> Better be careful. My hand signals. I get banned. <laughs> And I hate it when I do illegal hand signals on YouTube by accident. And I'm like, oh shit, do I gotta edit that out? <laughs> it's like my dad used to do the OK symbol all the time. And then when he was in Mexico, people told him to stop doing it. He's like, why? <laughs> he didn't know. <laughs> Apparently some trolls changed the name or the meaning of that symbol. When I was a kid, it used to mean asshole, a s s hole, <laughs> for the three fingers in the hole. <laughs> no, it didn't really mean that. We used to call it the OK symbol. And then we would make fun of it and call it the asshole symbol. <laughs> so it almost does make sense that someone would call it the other symbol. <laughs> Can't even say it. <laughs> Get my channel demonetized. Evil words. <laughs> now I'm tempted to do a bit shoot channel. If you guys want me to do a bit shoot channel, just tell me. I don't know if I really want to do a bit shoot channel because then people might find out about it. They'd be like, holy shit, <laughs> he's even worse uncensored. <laughs> No, it's like, trust me, I'm, I'm holding back. <laughs> now, I remember back in the day, I used to listen to a guy who had a really good channel. He started it on YouTube, and it was just flying off the hook. He was getting like 10,000 subs a week. But his channel was so edgy, he was just like making fun of everyone. I'm like, man, if you make fun of everyone, you're going to get your channel demonetized. He just wrote it as long as he could. It didn't last very long. I think like a month. Hey, can you imagine start a channel, get it up to like tens of thousands of followers all within like a month, and then get it deleted? <laughs> just goes to show you like the best content you could do to start an excellent channel isn't even allowed. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was getting pretty bad where he was like, there was a video of feminists and he would make fun of them. Like, call them names. <laughs> I was like, oh, name calling's definitely not going to be allowed. <laughs> <It's> so evil. <laughs> yeah, but a lot of the names he was calling them were actually true descriptions. It's almost like if you say the truth, it's so offensive that it becomes name calling in some cases. <laughs> it's like, how dare you describe me by how much I weigh? <laughs> Your, your measurement system is offensive. <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure it's going to be impossible for me to win this battle. I tried, I tried, I tried. It just wasn't happening. Yeah, there was one other thing that I noticed. Someone in the Facebook group. I bet you what it is is the VIP level. But he was in Supply Depot. You see how there's room at the bottom here for one more blue square? 
like if this menu was taking up everything they could fit one more there well this guy online he had another box there when he clicked it it was allowing him to spend things and I think the things that he was spending was these death coins so I don't know what's happening with that Maybe if anyone wants to post it, or maybe just leave it as a surprise for me, and I'll find out eventually. It's not always the best to ruin all the surprises. Hmm. hmm. Alright, so I hope you guys like that. I was thinking doing the, the most epic battle ever would be kind of a neat episode maxing out how many rounds you can go to I never realized that it was 50 so 50 rounds that apparently happens to be the total that you can do for one big battle hmm all right so what else was there yeah I was just gonna say a big shout out to the guy who commented right away about how that you can change or that it isn't blue class that it was asking for it was just blue or it wasn't blue element it was blue class so I got those mixed up Thanks for the viewer who pointed that out. Oh yeah, and then thanks to the other viewer who pointed out the other thing. I'm already forgetting what it was. But... <laughs> no, and let's think of something. What happens if a cow comes by, eats some grass, and it ferments it in its stomach for a while, and then it regurgitates it back up to digest it, but it happens to spray out into your vaporizer? And you try vaporizing some fermented grass and then give the video a dislike because fermentation is pretty good for digestion but I'm pretty sure it's awful for vaporization <laughs> now did you guys ever know that the cows technically don't even eat grass they ferment the grass and then eat bacteria constantly because the fermentation generates bacteria so cows are eating meat all day that's probably why beef is so good it's just loaded with nutrients from meat <laughs> all right so yeah appreciate everyone for checking out the links below if you want to check those out too anyone who hasn't done it already there's cash back watching videos radio you can even win money by playing video games in the links below you can even become a pro gamer yeah it really isn't that the only thing that counts if you want to become a pro gamer as long as you're getting paid to do it that's the the qualifications <laughs> Alright, so, alright, and if, if you can help share the video and like it, that helps too. Oh yeah, and the Patreon. I always forget the Patreon. I already got one Patreon, so I'm like, oh, that's all I need. <laughs> I won't even promote it anymore. <laughs> alright, catch you guys later, and I hope you like this episode, and hope you tune into the next one. Oh yeah, and f don't forget, never buy the products from my sponsor. It will ruin your life. Click the playlist. You'll love it. Let it play forever on your TV. Subscribe if you haven't. I like you. <laughs>